Have you noticed that climbing stairs isn't as easy as it used to be? Well, in this video, we're going to explain why that is and show you three exercises which can help. Hi, it's Brody and Alicia from Be Mobile. Climbing stairs is a vigorous activity that requires more energy per minute than jogging. To climb stairs requires three things, strength, balance, and cardio fitness. We're going to briefly discuss each of those and show you an effective exercise you can do for each. Strength is your ability to produce force. To climb stairs effectively, you need to be able to produce enough force here in the quadricep muscles at the front of your thigh and in the gluteal muscles behind your hip. Sedentary people lose significant strength as they age, especially after the age of 55, which can make going upstairs harder. The good news is though, you can rectify this loss by doing some strengthening exercise. Let's go back to the gym and I'll show you one exercise you can do that can really help this. Our strength exercise is a single leg squat. It uses most of the same muscles as going upstairs, but you don't have to go and find a staircase to do it. We're going to start holding onto a bit of furniture if needed for balance, standing on one leg, squatting down a little bit, coming back up. And that's your starting level, just like that. The lower you go, the more challenging it's going to be. We can progress from that to a reverse lunge. So that's basically doing the same thing, but getting that back knee all the way down to the floor and coming back up. And this is working those quad muscles and those glute muscles we talked about and really improving your strength. The last version to make it a little bit harder is add some weight. You could put on a heavy backpack and do either of those versions, the single leg squat or going into the full reverse lunge. Three sets of 10 for each leg is a great place to start and that will really improve your leg strength for stairs. Climbing stairs also requires good balance, especially if you don't have a handrail or if you're taking big steps as you're spending longer on one leg. Now, if your balance is poor, all of your energy and attention is going to go towards just staying upright. Now, as we age, our balance also declines, but the good news is this can be mitigated with exercises. Let me show you this exercise now. Okay, so our balance exercise is toe taps. Now these are great for training you to balance on one leg so you don't trip over on the way upstairs and really good at developing control on the way down. So I'm going to show you three variations increasing in difficulty. First up, we're doing it on flat ground. So I'm simply tapping on the ground in front of me really lightly. So most of my weight is on the leg that I am balancing on. Second variation, we're going to use a box. So a tissue box or a step is a good to use for this exercise. And this is increasing the difficulty because I'm having to lift my foot higher up in the air. And again, really focusing on tapping that box nice and lightly. Third variation, we're going to use a step. I'm going to get up on the step here and I'm lowering myself down tapping the ground lightly and coming up. So as you can see, really good for training, going downstairs. So I would pick the variation that suits you and do three rounds of 60 seconds each leg. The third and final factor to discuss is your cardio fitness. Now you might find the first few stairs are easy enough, but as you get up the top of the flight, your heart is pounding and you're breathing heavy. And then you see how many more stairs you've got to go. If this sounds like you, then it's probably a cardio issue. Let's discuss how you can seriously improve your fitness to make stair climbing a breeze. To improve your fitness, you need to stress your cardiorespiratory system. And a great way to do this is interval training. This means alternating short, intense bursts of exercise with a slower, easier level of activity. Walking intervals are a great place to start. A simple walking interval workout could go something like this. Start with one minute of regular easy pace walking and then go into one minute of hard, intense power walking. You could repeat that cycle five times for a total of a 10 minute workout. And that is a nice, easy place to start. Another great form of interval training is using stairs themselves. Of course, practicing stairs regularly will help improve your fitness, but how much? One study got sedentary subjects to perform a really simple workout. They did 60 seconds of going up and down stairs as hard as they could followed by 60 seconds of rest. And they repeated that three times. With a basic warm up at the start, this whole workout took them less than 10 minutes to complete. Very simple. They did this workout three times per week for six weeks, and the researchers looked at how much their fitness improved. The subjects in this study improved their average fitness level by 8%. 
That might not sound like a huge number, but in terms of an improvement in fitness in just six weeks, that is massive. And these people only did three 10 minute sessions of exercise per week. So you could do this workout for yourself. Start with two minutes of walking as a warm up, then hit the stairs for one minute as hard as you can comfortably safely manage. Rest for a minute, repeat that three times, and you've got yourself an awesome little workout that's gonna improve your fitness by quite a lot. Now, Alicia, that's enough stairs for us <laughs> for today. So if you wanna get better at stairs, it's not rocket science. You just need to work on your strength, balance, and fitness. And of course, just practicing stairs is a great way to improve at them. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.